Hey guys, Chandler here, back on my channel, Alternate Journey, and of course, Sam again. Hi. We're gonna do another reaction video for you guys. We're gonna be reacting to transgender children talk about being raised by their families. This is from the channel Them. They do a, a bunch of queer content and stuff like that. So this might be, hopefully, a cool video for us to react to. We both had different experiences with our family, and also like yeah. coming out stories and all that shit. Very different, different journeys. Different timelines. Different it's, journey in general. Yes, it's saying transgender children. Unfortunately, we never Never had the chance to like be ourselves as children although like don't get me wrong that didn't ruin my childhood in my opinion i had very open parents and siblings yeah. and stuff like that on the news it says like people are hurting transgender people especially transgender african americans and that makes me scared sometimes my hair i would always try to keep it somewhat long i was visiting my dad he said we're shaving it off as I'm like crying. It's so easier for ch like trans children to pass. They didn't go through that hormone I know. transition it's, yet. It's like awesome. trans women, if they get it before, if they go on either puberty blockers or if they just yeah. start early, yeah. they never have that male puberty. Honestly, like people need to do their research more on puberty blockers. It's actually not that harmful as like all these people are saying and stuff like that. Like the research is yeah. out there and it's like the technology that we have is amazing. If they have the same thought, especially for a kid for a year, then it's fucking true. There's no way a kid has right. the same thing continuously thinking and saying like no i'm a girl or something like that if it's a phase they would drop it within like three to six months but if it's like a year especially for a kid they don't have the time or energy to hold on to something like that you know what i mean unless someone's like literally brainwashing like there's stories of like unfortunately parents actually making their kids trans because they wanted a son or daughter like people just gotta do their research more to hold me down to shave off all of my hair one of the first things that I did after okay. I started. Yo, that person looks familiar for some reason. Really? I think I've seen Reese in another trans-related video. Oh, maybe. I mean, I would look like that too <laughs> if I was 16, if I had the kind that of That was you. That was me when I was like 20? 18, 19, 20, yeah. Oh. Putting the pieces together and realizing I was a boy was, I kept praying and kept asking for guidance. But the pastors at that church were not using my pronouns. They oh yeah, it's still with the church. Me, so we had to leave. Props to the family for leaving that church. Right? You know, sometimes families would just be like, you know what, if you're not comfortable going to that church, then don't go, we'll still go. Which is still okay, That's, in my yeah, opinion, okay. because you're giving the comfort of your child, like, the decision whether or not they want to go to church, you know, yeah. force them to. But it's, like, even more powerful of, like, the family being like, we're gone. You know what I mean? But then right. again, the church is like, well, you didn't donate that much money anyway, so go. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, but and it's good that we're now seeing more supportive churches right. out there and stuff. But yeah, it's one thing to have like an unsupportive family, but even being a part of the church, that's a whole other trauma to yeah. go through. Some people don't know who they are until like a long time. I'm someone who knew who I was quickly. I told mom that I'm not Bitch, a I'm girl. jealous. I'm just saying. <laughs> you feel like a boy. And I said, I don't feel like a boy. I am a boy. I think that's when you hear me scared. I hear crying. I don't think you guys saw me cry, but I cry at night. I felt really guilty. I thought maybe I hadn't raised a proud girl. And my mom kept yes. saying, you know, if you just put a dress on her. I tried that. I tried to convince Penelope that she was a girl. Using I mean, the I, growing up, was Republican, Catholic. I remember being really scared. People are mean. Will they hurt you? They're like, you know, I'm Catholic. Or they, like, they state their religion as an excuse. And then the second excuse is fear. It's all fear-based for but most people. It, it doesn't make sense to me because yeah. in all honesty, like the one that should be more afraid is the actual trans individual. They're the ones that actually gain hate crimes right. towards them. Well, we know and that, like, but they're not thinking of it. You know, it. when you come out, you come to that point where you're sick and tired of it and you're literally like, I can't fucking do this anymore. In the beginning, like if you're going to be like, no, because God made you this way, or no, you can't do this based off the fact of like what someone will, might do to you and stuff like that. It's like, dude, you're not helping the situation at all. In fact, you're gonna make it worse. Because exactly. that person's gonna have no support and they will kill themselves. Because that's, that's usually what happens. Know? Like, if they don't transition, that L literally, is. Literally, usually... yeah. Once you come out, you're literally at the breaking point. He essentially said, that's wrong. You have a mental disease. You need to be fixed. To be quite honest, it was pretty much how I've seen her to before, be living too. as myself at home. And they use all the same trans kids for different videos, honestly. Be somebody else. God is the most important thing in my life. Yo, yeah, these these names. Reese Candy is Candy's the mom. I wanna know everybody else's name. Look how different they look and then there's this person. I love that. <laughs> That's you. Go off. Conversations with God about 
What's happened here? Girl, you're not having conversations with God because he's not responding to you. Where did I go wrong? I don't think we could have raised you in an environment that was less <laughs> conducive to making you think that you were transgender. My dysphoria got worse. I just hated the constant use of the wrong pronouns and having to pretend that I was a girl. Reese was yeah. really withdrawn, kind of seemed depressed. When you told us this, I think it was kind of like, oh, okay, well, if this is what's going on, great. Even if they end up not being trans when they're older, just let them go through the social transitioning. Like, they're well, yeah, no, one, no one's saying they have to dose them with hormones. Right? No, I know, but conservatives all the time say, like, oh, if our kid's saying this, it means that they have, they're going to, like, go on hormones and stuff. And it's, that's not always true. But just, like, let them do, like, the haircut and the name change, and then they can always change it because all that can be reversible. It's oh. not as easy as getting a gun in America. Getting hormones. Hormones yeah. is harder than getting a gun. Yeah. You don't need to go on hormones until you're 14. Because that's the typical age when people start going through puberty, although recent studies have showed that people are going through sooner, so like 12 or something like that. But anyways, it depends on your genetics and just Does, your body yeah. and stuff like that. Based off your family's medical history, that's when they determine when they should actually start hormone blockers. Live life as a boy so that you will be the, the joyful person that you are. I'll never forget that first time that you performed as Nicole when you stepped onto that stage in that dress with a microphone and sang. It, it was without question a defining moment because I had never seen you in such an authentic way. The more we watched Penelope year after year after year, now 10 years, we realized Penelope is a boy. He's not faking it. He's not pretending. He's not playing death if he is a boy. Wait, is that his name, Penelope, think, or she's using his dead name? Even when it was on him, it was saying his name was Penel Penelope, 10 years old. So I think maybe he still is connected with the name Penelope. Mm. Maybe he just goes by a nickname so much that it doesn't even phase him because he just goes by his nickname. You know what I mean? Some people are just lucky where they have a gender neutral name too. You know what oh, I mean? So it's yeah, like, it's so nice. Especially yeah. if you're like non-binary. It's like, why wasn't I blessed with a gender neutral name from the start? <laughs> have any memories when you were growing up of him doing anything that you felt didn't really seem like a girl would do? Yes. Yes, yes 100%. <laughs> I, I okay. The coach was screaming at me run after the ball and I would start skipping like <laughs> So many stereotypes. You don't know if it's like society because you're raised off this shit. So it's like, Reese did shit that wasn't normal for a girl, but in reality it could be and stuff like that. But it's like, people always ask like, how do you know that you were trans or when's like the first signs of you being trans? And it's like, that's, that's what you do. You stayed off these like stupid stereotypical things when you were kids. And it's like, mm. people's like, oh, so you're saying every kid's trans. It's like, no. No. But these are just what I can relate it to your at that experience. time. Because when you're a kid and stuff like that, you don't, automatically think about your body. Well, nowadays it's actually taught more. So that's why a lot more kids younger, like Penelope at 10 years old, knew that he was trans. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, yeah, he felt that dysphoria and stuff like that. You gotta relate it to mm. the stereotypes and be like, oh, well, I was just skipped instead of ran to the ball. It's like, yeah, <laughs> you I, know I, what I mean? I feel that too. People that are just transphobic will like, they'll just cut out those stupid clips from the videos and be yeah, like, see, they're just confused. They're like, oh, you guys are trying to make a o more open society where girls can do more masculine things, but yet you're saying if a girl does this, it's actually a trans man. It's like, no, that's not what they're saying at all. That's just what they can relate it to their first experience. So Quinn, you know, I like that name too. I, I, started started to by and I, said, well, I do like the name Quinn. I use power tools and everything. Yeah, I use power yeah. tools now. But you know, I feel like conservatives watching this would, would be like, oh, it's the parents enabling this. Like, they're educating them about trans stuff, and that's why they're trans. In some of these cases, it sounds like the kid actually brought the knowledge to their parents, and they became more involved with it, maybe did a little more research on the medical side and stuff. You know, that's what it sounds like to me. Like, there's no way Eric and fucking Candy here, looking at them, maybe Candy, they had to do research. First thing we did was get your hair cut. So he got a really short... Got a boy haircut, and then boy clothes. And boy clothes. I get what they mean, but like they don't have to say like boy clothes or boy haircut because that's not a boy haircut, it's just well, a haircut. It's but. basically just saying we started with social transitioning. That's yeah. what it's saying. But for people that don't know what it means to socially transition, that's what they're explaining it on their level, I feel like. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I feel like my parents would watch this video and then they'd be like, well, you didn't display any symptoms, not symptoms, symptoms. but you didn't display anything of yes. this 
for us nature. to know. It's like, well, first of all, I'm not a guy, so maybe that's why. But second of all, like, repressed, so it didn't show it. Third of all, that's not how you measure how right. someone's gonna be. Allowed you to wear a dress and Female shoes. Female clothing in public. I feel like a bird that's been trapped in a cage since the day she was born. And for the first time, got to spread They're like, can we get a close-up of you hanging that gay ass <laughs> Why they were showing that. The, the editing that they do on these shows sometimes. <laughs> they're like, wait a minute. Is that two gay snowmen? We have to get close up of that. They're like, we hang that on the tree for us. They're like, our, our producer said we need more B roll. We, yeah, we need <laughs> something. We need a little more gay. I was wearing clothes to help me to pass, but at the same time, I knew that I wanted to. Is that to just their natural voice being deeper, or are, are they on hormones? I or think uh, voice training. More androgynous, but I wasn't sure if I would get the courage to do that. But I think once I started dressing this way, I realized that this this is more me. How do so you black. feel about my medical transition? I couldn't understand the whole blocker concept. But as puberty got closer, as theater and singing became so important, the thought of your voice changing, you not being able to be a surprise. So bitch, if you weren't talented, you wouldn't have gotten it. The way they're wording things is kind of like... Well, because yeah, people. she's relating to the first time watching her daughter sing as like the first connecting factor of being like, oh, this is Nicole. You know what I mean? That's yeah. That's why she's relating it back to that so much, just because that's her first memory of being like... This is my daughter, right. kind of, you know what I mean? Like, it makes sense. Like, this all yeah. ties in. Like, we understand it, but people yeah. who want to hate exactly. on this, they would tear oh, that apart. you could apart. easily tear this video apart. You can make this so transphobic if you want. You can make anything if you, like, you analyze could. it down. I remember when puberty was coming, I was like, no, we need to get in there, like, now. Get this done because I don't want to go through anything. A lot of my friends were so excited for all the changes and I was like, why on earth do you want a womanly body? Like, that makes no sense. I think your exact words huh. were, I'm going through the wrong puberty. I've always been the same person. My hair changed, uh, clothing, and that's it. I think yeah, you're basically. the same person. I think what shifted was, as I saw you so much more confident and happy, that encouraged me to try to be a better mom for you. I'm surprised that people that. are just so shocked. Like, they always sound so shocked when they're like, they were the same person. No fucking huh? shit, man. No fucking shit. Of course, they're just gonna be more happier and more confident. Yeah. They're just gonna be more open just because of that. I it's think just... they act surprised because a lot of parents don't see it the same way we do. People are so ignorant that they are surprised by these obvious things. It's... This mom, when, when she was like, oh, I saw her becoming more happy and confident, that made me want to support her more. I wish like my mom was like that because like she knows like I'm more happy and confident now, but that's not enough for her. It's like so stupid. Like you would think she'd be like, oh Sam, like I see you more happy and confident. It's one of those scenarios where it's like they don't care what the results is, they still want to know the why factor. And they don't mm -hmm. understand that the why factor is the results. That's literally why. It was a really special day for me to bond with Threes as a brother and considering him that way. I feel really safe in our community, but if I think about the news. I think, wow, if we just went to a different neighborhood, or a different state, or a different country, or a different part of the world, maybe we wouldn't be a safe. Another world, yes. <laughs> Reliving his truth helped us to see the truth in everyone else as well, and some people aren't prepared or understand this journey. Our church didn't support Reese, so we're trying to search for a new church that includes and loves and cares for everybody. Do you miss your dad? Yes. And my half-siblings and my stepmom, like, I miss them, but that love came with conditions. When you initially mm -hmm. came out, I was very afraid of the reaction of friends and family. That's okay. also why some parents are the way that they are. They're afraid how other people are going to perceive them as a parent. But it has nothing to do with how you actually raised your child. Well, right, like but they don't understand that. So you're not going to be a byproduct of what your parents raised you because your parents can continuously keep on saying shit, but it's like if you don't believe that or you don't interpret it the way that they're actually saying and shit like that, you're just going to be you. Because you guess what? Right. You are. What I'm most grateful for now is your ability to see your self-worth and how much your loves are valued. The death that stare, though, is something that the no camera. one talks about, <laughs> that no one knows, they don't have any example of. I was really scared. But the more scared I felt, the more I put my energy into changing people's minds. It absolutely fills me to 
tell our story, meet with legislators, and help other families. Oh shit, she's doing shit. Jobs. All right, she's going to a governmental level. Go off. Be a light for people and to say don't hate her that much anymore. Okay, <laughs> she's going to the legislators. <laughs> she's like, I need change now. <laughs> I know, and it's much gift to the world. I like to let people know that we are a family of transgender people and cisgender people. If people don't like who we are, then they can go someplace else. I want to make a change and make the world a better place for everyone so people can just be themselves and don't have to worry about the world around them judging them. Younger trans individuals are more happy to be trans than people that realize that they're trans older. So what were your th final thoughts? It was just really heartwarming to see how supportive the parents were and to see their journey with supporting their kids. I do relate to it with my family. So it kind of gives me hope for like what my family could be. It proves that it's so easy for a parent to support their kid, but like not everyone's willing to do that. People have to understand you can't rely on all your information just from your kid. Cause like, you know, you're like the, your kid comes out yeah. as gay or trans, or whatever. You're, Trans kids should not be the only resource that you're asking the questions to. Because like, everyone's experience is different anyway. You're gonna have to do your own research and stuff like that about what trans actually is and shit like that. What the actual process of transitioning usually is for some individuals. You gotta actually realize that not everyone's gonna have the same dysphoria. Not everyone's gonna have the same transition and shit. And also, don't just look at the detransition stories. You'll see one and then you'll click on a bunch of them and then you're gonna convince your kid like, no, this is wrong, this is what you're gonna do. Like, you're gonna convince yourself like, this is gonna happen to my kid. In reality, that's right. very small percentage. That usually happens to people that rush. They usually get their hormones really fast or they don't know the actual terminology of like what dysphoria is. They mess it up with gender expression. The speed at which someone transitions is also not your place to police. Oh yeah. I feel like a lot of those parents did do their own research but no one really said anything about it. I just feel like that has to be taught more. Watch a bunch of videos of people transitioning and their stories and stuff like that. But also don't be afraid to ask your kid, like, what does it mean to them? Because it's not gonna be a defined, definitive thing for everybody. You know, it's easier to find all this shit now, too, than it was four years ago. So no with all these terminology. There's, like, literally no excuses now. Ignorance is no longer an excuse. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, comment down your thoughts down below. Where can they find you, Sam? Go to my Instagram at when16met18. And I don't post on YouTube as much anymore, but my YouTube is called Queen Halo. And my vlog channel is called Sam Blog. Continue, on. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the statistics. If you find yourself watching multiple of my videos, might as well subscribe and don't forget to uh, click that bell down below so you get notifications whenever I upload Ding. and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, you wanted more no. than you. I see. No, now, now it's too much. Yeah. That's too much. I was yeah. not in it though. I, I was like all the way over here. Because you were all the way over there. <laughs>